Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. I'm here today with another Mass Make March project. That's the project that Corey, Creating with Scraps, is doing. Uh, it's also the monthly monthly challenge for Love Junk Journal's Facebook group. So I'll link that down below. I didn't realise that. So what am I doing today? I'm going to do some very easy little file folder fold overs you can turn them into pockets put some pockets in put some pages in make them into mini journals but for now I'm just making them plain so that you can journal in them and I've got some of my more boring papers out and I've just judged them up a little bit with some stamping a label and a sticker I like these stickers the lovely stickers right, backs can be a nightmare to get off so we should be in for some laughs there Mm, yeah, she says. So let's crack on. Now the first one, I've made them two ways. I've used my envelope punch board for some and then I've done one by hand. So that's the envelope punch board and that's the one by hand. You'll notice I've got a gap there and I ain't there. Just, I just have and I ain't. That's it. Or ain't and I have. have ain't, whatever. So grab the envelope punch board and I'll show you how I did, did it with envelope punch board first. Here we go. Right, so there's no measuring. As you can see, they're different sizes. We're going random sizes. So we've got a rectangle. So I've got the rectangle, Corey. Corey did a brilliant video this week making different things out of rectangles. Right, so get your rectangle lengthways. Or oh, not necessarily if you want it to end up portrait way. You don't have to. And I just lined the edge up with the middle of my punch and a punch. And then I just guesstimate. How big I want my tag, so I'm going to cut that off and that's going to be my tab. I just called it a tag, but we know it's a tab. Then I'm going to go to the other side. Middle, punch, randomness, punch. There you go. And then to know how much to cut off, various ways you can do it. You may have got one of these kind of scoreboards and cutting boards. Someone reminded me of these the other day. I used this for years, but to be honest, it's not my favourite. It scores and it cuts. You've got a black blade for scoring and that's for cutting. reason I don't use it so much now, the blades wear out really quickly. It makes it expensive. And I can never score it in the right place, but that I think that's user error, not uh, product error. And that's, that's in my way now. I don't want it there. Now I've just scored when I didn't want it scoring. See what I mean? I'm a nightmare with it. I'll take the scorey blade off. Because <laughs> I want to cut down at this end. So I'm just going to cut that bit off. The reason it's good for this is there's a little wire in the middle of this. You can see exactly where you're going to cut. So, yeah, I forget where my blade is. And then as I'm moving it from one end to other as well, I'll cut off bits that don't need cutting off. I'm just, no. Right, now I'm going to go up to... <laughs> I'm even on camera. Just. I'm going to go up to where I want. You can feel... Well, you need to stop. There you go. To me, that's... Yeah, it worked. But I'm going to put you back down on the floor. I got it out thinking, oh, wow, we haven't used this for ages. And within 10 minutes, I'm like, yeah. That's why I haven't used it for ages. If you're just cutting things and you don't, don't mind the edge being a bit raggedy because your blade's worn out, brilliant. So quite good for junk journaling, I suppose. But you're going back on the floor, mate. And it's not weren't cheap, that. Right, so I'm going to go back to my ruler and pencil method. T ruler. And then I'm just going to throw down there with a pencil and cut it. I'll use little scissors. Whee! So I've cut off the bits I don't want. Then I've got my file folder shape. There's no way I can measure where I need to score. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to fold it. There you go. You can see when it's about right and fold. Coming with bone folder or whatever you're using, butter knife handle, your teeth. And there we go, we've got another. So yeah, that's not as wide as the other one I made. It's wider than that first one I made. But those two are going to be lovely when I've stamped them up. Now that one, I made a template out of thin air and did it myself. That's my template. I made. <laughs> it didn't look like much of a template, but it is. But I'll make another template now. I'm going to make this one in cream so I know which is which. 
Grab a piece of cream card, woman. Go on, you've got plenty there. That'll do. That looks like it's part of a card blank. And all I do, now if you've got a tab, say you've got a tab punch, punch one and draw around it. Or if you've got any kind of calendar or folder or anything with a tab shape, draw around that. But the shape is kind of like this, isn't it? It starts a bit, then it curves up and round. And that, that's it. Job's a good one. And I'm going to use that. Which piece of paper shall I use this time? I'm going to use half of this, I think. Let's cut that in half. I will tell you how big some of these are, but there's no measurements needed for making. Unless you've got a pocket. What? Look at that. Could I do that again without trying to make them nearly exactly the same? I don't think I could. That were, that were a bit shocking to me that I did that. Right, that one. This one's not going to need much stamping because of what the paper looks like. Right, so do I want my tab at the top? I like the tab at... I think I'll have tab at bottom this time. So get my little template. And I'm going to do... Oops. My phone's making noises. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm not pretty on silent. It just makes little squidgy noises. It's not going to start ringing. That. And then you can decide where you want your tab to go to. Just turn that over. And do that again. I should have done it on white side so you can see better. I think you can see enough. So. There you go. And then same to know where to cut here. Yeah, I'll do other side on white side so you can see better. So that's the end of my pencil mark. I can also line it up here unless I've cut that one first. Draw that line in and then follow my curve. I mean, you can do this way, any old shape. Whee. There we go. So that's that. Sorted. Now, if you were mass making, you'd then take your next one, like so. So you don't light side. Is that my next one? gonna have to be now isn't it because i've lost other piece there it is bring it back bring it back sing it back that is a song isn't it and I, you can just draw around that all together so these are perfect for a mask mate just straighten that up woman straighten it up a bit so you can draw all the way down round and round again look at that and then i can turn it for that side Bring it back. So you'll only ever need to make one template. So there you can see. Ooh, itchy face. And I'm going to cut this. Wee. Wee. I didn't make that very dark, that pencil, and I can't see it, no mind you. I perhaps I need a sharper pencil. Yep, I used to have a pencil sharpener, but someone borrowed it. <laughs> I've been moaning about that now for a week. I really want my pencil sharpener back. Heads are going to roll. Not really. I can hear bell jingling on Nala's neck and she's outside. It's not, is it raining? Nah. Hmm. Maybe I'm imagining it. Maybe it's Santa. It does sound a little bit like Santa. I call a jingle cat now, and I keep singing it to tune the jingle bells. Jingle cat, jingle cat, jingle all the way. Jingle out the window, off you go to play. Hey, do you know what I mean? <laughs> sorry, sorry for Christmas carols. Right, and there we have it. A file folder, let's fold it over. There we go. We have another. I'm a bit slow with cutting, sorry about that. Also, when I'm singing, it slows me down. So, oh, tab at top, tab at bottom. There we have another one. I'll tell you, I'll tell you its size. It's turned out, yeah, just over three and a quarter by four high. Now we've got the other side to do on this one. I'm going to, of course, I'm going to borrow this again. 
but this time I think I may just make it the tab a slightly different size I really am struggling to line that up this time so I'm going to move it up a little bit Ooh. <laughs> that was terrible look at that that's about as straight as a curved line there we go and let's cut Whee. there we go I think cats bounding around garden should be chasing stuff I'm going to say chasing leaves but they fell off months ago and then this one Whee. now for a good proper mass mate you crack on you carry on and make as many of them as you want when I'm talking it slows me down a bit I've got one there two three four I know I made one off camera that'll be five and if I do this one it'll be six six is enough for a mass make isn't it of course it is but we'll stick to five <laughs> for now I'll cut that one should I need to well I'm just going to check my lighting because it has gone extremely dark outside that's a bit better yeah really did go dark but we've had a warning for snow again here we had quite a bit last week that's one of the reasons you haven't seen much of me. Right, I've got these now and I'm going to do some stamping. So it's going to be time to open them out again. Wee. Wee. And I've got a selection of stamps. I've got this one. I don't, I, I don't know if I've used this one on camera before. It's a... What is it? Create Happiness by Vicky Papi New. It's a Stamperia set. This was bought in Happy Mail for me. I've got the dates from the past and then the second dates from the past one. But let's start with this. This has got some interesting little... I really didn't want to film this with light on because of the old things glaring. But there we go. We've got a ring. Ooh, we've got a ticket. I'm going to be using that. I like this little bit of text and that little bit of text I think I may put a few crackles on so we'll start off with those so that was all from the create happiness one Ooh. I heard something two ticks panic over it's not a burglar I didn't realize how late it were one of kids who's not staying for after school club has just come in. I thought we had a burglar. I thought we had burglar bill, aren't we? Right, so I've got my stamps. I've got my papers. I'm just going to put something underneath. I'm going to use the cover from my 12 by 12 pad, I think. Yeah, use that woman. I could use a stamping mat, but do you know what? I end up in a mess. I really do. I prefer to use something I can then make something else out of or throw away. It's just my preferred way. Right, so I'm going to do these three. Yeah, I'm not going to do so much on those two, so we'll leave those well after. Right, have these the way up you want them. I don't know if this does have a particular way. I really can't see. Oh, that does. It's got like writing in background. So I'll have that right way up. That can go that way. That one, does that have any? I really can't tell. It probably has some really obvious writing that I can't read. Yeah, it's that way. Right, stop faffing, grab a stamp block and crack on. Here we go. I'm so organised today I can't find out. Right, so I'm going to do a little bit of that first. And I'm going to use... I'm going to use black. I just like the look of black. I couldn't decide whether to use black or whether to use uh, sepia, but I'm going to use black. And I want... It is actually a, little, a full little say in that. But I don't want it... It says, happiness is a choice, blah, blah. I can't read rest because I'm really bad at reading cursive writing. <laughs> but I suppose we're magnifying glass. It is clear enough to read. And I'm going to put that one there. And then I'm going to put it again. Uh, there. 
I could have put it sideways, but I want to put the other one sideways. I'm not going to use you again, so I'll put you to dry in the drying pile behind me. There we go. There's this other little texty bit. I think I'm going to go in with these crackles first, though. I like the look of them. And I don't want these too dark, so I'm going to stamp them off first. There we go. Oh, I like that. That looks good. I think I'm going to go in and stamp that again. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Oh, you're out of way for a lose, yeah. I'm not too bothered if I get a little bit of ink on the other side. World won't end. Don't know why I put some chink on that when I'm stamping off. <laughs> there we go. Do you know what? I'm going to take that off at block. Reason being, there you go. I don't want to see those clear defined edges. Oh, that looks good. Let's try a bit of it there as well. Yeah, I like that. So, a bit more crackle on this one. Stamp it off. Then it's not as dark. Yeah, this I'm liking. We'll do that one over at crease and then this last one. Let's see what we get. Oh, how have I, when? Did anyone see me put my finger in ink? I have no recollection of dipping my finger in ink, but I quite obviously did. It'll have been when I did that, won't it? Hmm, hmm. There you go. Take it out of ink. <laughs> I, I want a big crackle stamp now. Ooh. There we go, want some more. I got a lot of really faint crackle on the back there, didn't I? So a bit there. Yes. Left a little bit more room there. Put your ink pile for cleaning. Then clean your finger, you silly woman. I can't stamp in a clean manner. It's just not possible. Whee. I've never been a person who can wear white. Never in my life. Have I been able to wear white? Not as a child, not as an adult. Yeah, I did once buy a pair of white jeans. I just I never got out of house in them before they were mucky. Right, I'm now going to do this. This ring. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a stamp block. That was me just pausing to think, dirt, shall I use a stamp block? There you go. Stamp off, stamp on. Stamp on. There you go. I think only one per side with that. Same with this. Let's put it up there on the back. And um, there. Oh, that's very faint. I like it. Let's get a bit more ink on it this time for this one. Oh, that were a lot of ink put on that one, too. That was so unnecessary. It wasn't true. Yeah, that come out very dark. Mm. Oh. When you fold it over and you're just looking at front, it looks fine. No, don't put any more rings on. You've got enough rings on. That's it. Ring over. And this, I want this text. And I want this to go sideways. I was hoping one of these were long enough for it. Yeah, it is really. That I'm going to, I'm not going to stamp this one off. I don't know whether it's upside down or what, but I'm just going to come in. I just wanted the look of all that text on that. I'm not going to do it on all three because that would be a bit too samey, even though they're probably going to go in different projects. But I still want, I'm going to stamp it on here without re-inking. There we go. Yeah, quite like that. And let's stamp it again on this one. I'm sorry we're moving them here, there and everywhere, but I can't look at them all as a whole. Right, that one I've inked up, and I think I'm going to have it at the bottom, the right way, yeah. And, yeah, that's enough for that one. But you use whatever stamps you've got, you don't have to have the same stamps as me. There's lots of lovely stamps in the world. I'm just going to stick to this one set. Let's get some of these round ones out, posty stamp things. 
got that one, that one. Ooh, a little collection of numbers. So do you know what? I've showed you all them other stamp sets and I think I'm only going to use this one. I've got that compassy thing. Again. Ooh, <laughs> I've stuck the other stamp to it. I think I want that on the back. Yeah. You can be done. I think this time I want it on the front. I'm going to put it there. Yeah. Well, I can't say it, but yeah, I've done it now, haven't I? And this time I'm going to have it on the back and I'm going to put it wonky. Woo! There you go. How daring was that? How very dare you put that on wonky? Put it in the drying pile. And let's have a go with these random numbers. They do have a way. Ooh, I think I want them sideways on that flap. Very wonkily, but I like it. And here, I want them faded up near the top. I'm not going to need any much labels on these where we're going, am I? I'm liking. And do we want that bright off? I think I want it bright in the middle. Just in the middle, a flower will go over it, and then I'll stamp them on the back up there. Yeah. Right, what I did do... Oh, let's put some more stamps on while I'm talking. I stamped on the bit of flap that was showing on one of them. I don't know if I want to do that today. Today? Well, I did another one today, but I don't know if I want to do it this time. I like that, the postage stamp type one. Ooh, let's save that. I might put some actual postage stamps on and then stamp over it. Yeah, that's the plan, woman. So use the ticket instead. Does that have a way up? I'm not really sure, Rita. I really don't know. Um, <laughs> don't be too mad. That's got a bit of a bit of a plane back at minute, hasn't it? Mm. I like it there. That needs something else in the middle. Don't know what. Does that need a bit of a ticket? I'll have a bit of a ticket going off at top. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, let's have a bit of a ticket going off top here. On front. Yeah. Yeah, you really need something else in the middle at back, mate. There's just far too much space not being taken up. What can I do? What can I use? Do I have to get another stamp set out? I do have this hanging about on my desk. I'll use that. There we go. Um, that one didn't get the compass on, did it? But I think... Tell you what, put the uh, postage mark wiggleness. Now, if you're mass making more than three of these, you'll... Your umming and ahhing will stop. You'll just go da 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 and be done. <laughs> There's not a lot of thought gone into it. Get your baby wipe. Wipe your inky fingers, woman. And I think I'm happy with that for stamping. Yes, I'm a happy stamper. And then that, oh, I could just keep going on that. Yeah, and I could come up with, oh, I don't know what. So put your, keep that one out because you want that. Put these to dry. Or to be cleaned at a later time. And then put that somewhere where you're not going to get black on everything you own. Just throw it on the floor. And now, as we've got a child home, hope that a child doesn't step on it. Right, let's bring these back in. I'm pretty darn happy with them three. I really am. Right, let's do a little bit of inking on them. I'm not going to make you watch me ink forever. Who wants to ink forever? Oh, I've not seen that film in a long time. Highlander. Christopher Lambert. With the worst Scottish accent in the history of the world. It's crack mad, that film. You've got all and sundry with some really terrible Scottish accents, but the film's brilliant. And then you've got Sean Connery with his gorgeous Scottish accent playing a Spanish bloke. What's that all about? <laughs> I really don't know. Oh, oh good. <laughs> who cast that one? Don't even. Then, yeah, 
just around the edges of the inside. I'm only going to do all the way around on this one. And just fold it back and go down there. There you go, just to make it a bit mucky. And you can see ink on there. If you want to ink stamp something on there, you can. I might stick a label on this one. So I will, I'm just going to... I'll finish inking these. And then I'll go and check on the child, see if the child has needs. Yeah, and make sure the child's needs are being met. <laughs> then I'll be back with you. Two ticks. And I'm back. The child is good. The inking is all done. So you haven't had to watch me. I went ahead and did all outsides and insides. So there you go. Right, so now I even did those two. I'll decorate those two last. So I'm going to do these three. These are the ones that I've stamped. So I want to put flowers on. So let me grab these flowers. These were just some cheapy ones from Amazon. You probably get them on AliExpress. But sometimes you want it quicker than it can get here on AliExpress, don't you? Ooh. And this, this pack is all, they're all very neutral. Yeah, they're all white. Yeah, 40 in there is. So I'm just going to pick... Did I put that rose on the other one? Yeah, so I don't want to use that rose. I want to try and use different flowers so they all look a bit different. Oh, that's very delicate, that one, isn't it? I think that's too small. Too small. I like the look of that one. Oh, I like that. Oh, yes. So that's a maybe. Oh, we're not glaring. No, we're not. What's this one? Oh, that one's pretty. Very pretty. Oh, that might be too pale, that one, though. I like this daisy. There's a big daisy. You might be good. You might be a bit small. I might have made some of these a bit too big for flowers. Oh, no, some flowers are bigger. What's this one? Yeah, oh, that one's nice. Yeah, I can put uh, enough labels and other things on. You could even put a bunch of flowers, I suppose. Put more than one flower on. Oh, that one's pretty. Mm. Oh, there's a smaller daisy there. Oh, we could have like a bunch of daisies on that. We could put two on. I mean, short, yeah. That might be pretty. That could be an idea for this big one. So I'll swap you to there. And then I'm going to put two of the separate daisy stickers on. So, hang on, there's... I've got three different daisy stickers, yeah. Move all the stickers you're not using now, woman, because they're just everywhere. Go away, stickers. <laughs> Ooh. I could have you there. And then you there. A bunch of daisies. I don't know. I, I just don't know. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. We need something out. I think they look good there. Then I could put something else over here. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen on that one. Right, do the easy one first, this one. That's one flower and one thing. I think we need something else in the middle. I want to put a label on there. So I've got my Timmy ephemera. It's that tiny one. I forgot what it's called. All the links for what I've used are going to be in the description. I'm getting very good at remembering to do that. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, so that's going to go there. Let's do a little bit of inking. Oh, <laughs> I'm a pain for not being able to pick things up when I put them flat on the desk. I put my ink away after inking. Here we go. When I inked all the thing, I'm a jig and my bobbities. Yeah, like I said, you could go mad. You could make hundreds of these in an hour. Yeah, if you're not waffling. But you like the waffle. Eee. Oh, I've just been told, and I knew this, it was me who told kids. Rebecca called at the shop on the way home from school with a friend because it's International Pi Day, as in P-I, 3.14, mathematical term. So they decided to buy an actual pie. So they both had a little apple pie each. And then I decided to ask Alexa... I wanted to know if this pie day were international or national. So I asked, when's international pie day? And the answer I got is 23rd of January in the USA. 
but that's actual pie day, P-I-E day. So you eat pies on 23rd of January. Yeah, the 14th of March is P-I. And I've just been told it's because pi is 3.14. So it's like March 14. Yeah, yada, yada. So it's got to be international because we would say 14 March in UK, not March 14. Yeah, much uh, confusion has been had about dates because of that impasse. Right, I want a splash of colour, I think, on this one. That Par Avion one is calling to me. Oh, no, I don't know. It doesn't go with orange and daisy. I've mixed these up. So some of them are like... I did get a little selection of our handmade ones out, actually. Go to them. Go to them. Look, I'll link this video where I made these. Yeah, I think these are actually going to be better than Timmy. So, sorry, Timmy. I like that barcode. <gasps> that barcode on there. Love it. Yes, that's going on there. But I want a bigger... I don't want anything... The very delicate flowers. So, so the flower is still going to be like the main focal point. I don't want too many really bright colours. So my splash of colour idea fell a bit flat. I like that one. Mm. Oh, that could just go in the middle. With a flower on it. No, that looks silly. I don't want the flower on something so thick. Doopy doopy do do. Oh, I like that one. But you can only have so many. Oh, I like that. And them numbers there. That's happening. And then I want something else. I think that would look good with something over it. You know, like people put a bit of tape over them. I could put like a number on holding it down. Yeah. I like that. So before I go any further, I'm going to stick that flower on before I forget what I'm doing. Look at state at desk now. I'm, a, I'm not. I'm not a tidy person. If you doubt how tidy I am, have a look on my community page at the untidy. <laughs> Don't put that much blade out, woman. Right. I've people have told me lots of ways to get back off these, but this is the one I'm liking best so far. I'm gone upside down yeah i know if i miss i'm going to end up with this blade up my nail but look it works woohoo and then i can touch the back of the flower with the blade and not get my mucky fingerprints on it then i'm going to treat it like i do my vellum stickers cut that piece of backing off yes i did throw it over my shoulder it'll get overed up and that's gonna go there no, I don't want it up onto crack there. There, so I've stuck the top on, then I can just fold that back to get rest of backing off. Yeah, oh, it's a dodgy shape. This one, oh, I did it, I did it. Yee. There we go, so that's that on. That doesn't need inking because it were done. Yeah, I'm going to put that there like it were a bit of tape holding the flower down. But it's not. It's a label. I need to get around to making some of that faux vintage tape stuff. I like that. That looks good. Need some else there though. That's looking a little bit. I think I need a label that's going to disappear into the background. Or I need to come in and stamp something else. I don't know which yet. Have I got one of these stamps that looks like an actual stamp? Mm, that does. I don't know if I like it up there though. No, I don't. So that's the end of that one. Oh, I like that. Bird. Do you know what I don't like around the edge of that bird, all that black? It makes it stand out too much. So it's not on this. Not on this project. Not the barcode. Or even the what's it. I'm just... I'm having a great deal of trouble deciding here, aren't I? It would appear. I think I want that one. Yeah. It doesn't have to be stamp shaped. It doesn't have to be an actual stamp. It just needs to go in that area. Yeah, I like that. And that I'm going to actually stamp something. That's just looking a bit bare. So I'm going to stamp a little bit more of this text. Let's grab your ink pad, woman. I've got a different ink pad there. Use the same ink pad. 
dip it in a bit. Stamp it off, we don't want it too dark. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to come in and put a little bit of that there. That, that That's done it. It's that one glaring blank space we're doing my head in. I like that, it's done. Right, grab another one. First thing I'm going to do on this is glue the barcode down because I like it. I'd gone around the edge of these in black. Now I'm going around in a bit of vintage photo on this one and it looks even nicer. This was just a barcode that I'd punched out of. Yeah, off back of a book. To make a label. So like I say, I'll link that video. Put that there. Straightish, that's the aim. Mm -hmm. It needs to be near an edge. I wonder if I can do this because I did use art glitter. Yeah. It does have a smidge in a wiggle time, you know, art glitter. That's it. I can see numbers now. A smidgen. Not a lot, but a smidgen. Right, I do want to put these as like a little group. The daisies. Yeah, three things going threes and fives. We've got three daisies. So I'll put the big daisy down first. Get that out. Watch your fingernails, woman. In fact, I do that. I'll stab just the back of it, will it? Lift it off the sticker. No, got to get it up that edge. Like I said, these stickers are so lovely, but the faff with them is like on another level. I'm going to lose patience and glue it in a minute. I do that often with stickers. Come on. I got you there. I got you. Did I? I thought I got you. Are you winding me up? Bit more blade out. Bit more blade. There we go. Have I not got it? It's just winding me up now. Oh my word. My window will open. This will be on garden any minute. I keep getting it and then I keep taking my blade out and it keeps sticking back down. And now I know my comments going to be full of 27 more ways of getting back off these stickers. I thought I'd chose the best way. <laughs> do you know what? I think that's a defective sticker. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look for another exactly the same sticker in pack and see if that one's defective. Is that the only one? Here we go. Da -da. Defect defection. Perfection. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, perfection until I can't get this one off either. Oh my word. Did you do it upside down? Have we had this conversation once already? I think I did. I need to do it upside down. How many people have been screaming, you need to do it upside down, woman? <sighs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> Don't get giddy with that blade. Could end badly. It's not Halloween. You can see I'm getting very impatient with it now, can't you? Oh my word. I'm just, I can't do it. I'm going to cry. No, I'm not. Oh, oh. I, I feel I ought to pause because nobody wants to see me battle with it. Done it, done it. That were terrible. If anyone buys this pack, I'd be interested to know if that one big fat chompy daisy were awkward for everyone. I hope my others aren't going to be this awkward. I've, it's that long since now nah, these have gone out of style since I started making them and I've still ended up with a big fat fingerprint on them. That's how I wanted it there. To be honest, if you're... Um, do that. What's it called? Burnish them. Fingerprints disappear. Oh, lordy. That were a mission, weren't it? Getting that off. That's that. Your mates better be a bit better at coming off than that. Or they will end up in bin. Quick sharp. Remember to put it upside down. Yeah, straight away. There was something about them big daisies. Something strange. I think it came from Twilight Zone. 
Oh, yeah, they must have. I'll have to ask Mulder and Scully. <laughs> Not that they were in Twilight Zone, they were X-Files. Oh, dear. Can you tell I've watched too much telly this weekend? I felt absolutely, ugh. All I could muster to do, I tried folding paper and it didn't work. <laughs> I said that as though paper, folding paper never works. Yeah, I tried folding paper and it didn't work. So I tidied my desk and it took, it took like 24 hours, which were like far too long. And so yeah, I, I retired to bed. I think I got a little bit of that cold kids had had. Right. I do like that. But then I've put that there so it doesn't look right with that, does it? I like that. I like that there. Yeah, I do. That's going on. Put you on, mate. Hmm. Do you know what? I'm just going to glue this on three. We weren't intending to make any pockets on front, but lately I can't seem to stick a big label on without turning it into a pocket. I like that. And you need a stamp somewhere. I had some real stamps and I clipped them all together with a clip and then I put them somewhere on this tidy desk and do you know what? I ain't got a clue where they are now. Uh, at the time, wherever I put them, sent like a really good idea. Now, clueless, don't know. Could be anywhere. <sighs> Just give that up as a bad idea, woman. Oh, I like that. No, it needs something round. Because that's round. It can't have another round one next to it. It looks weird. So it needs something totally different. Ooh, what about a two for? Two for 25 cents in that ring. Do you know what? I like it. Ink the edges. That's not one I've made. That must be one of Tim Holtz ones that I'd left on the desk. So that's that. Never in the history of crafting has it taken anyone so long to decorate one piece of tiny ephemera. Do you know what? I don't like that now. Do I? Let's try something else over it. See how much I like it. Ooh. Let's have a look in here. Yeah, there's something about me saying I don't like it. That's too square. No, it's got to go there. It has. I like that layered look. Yeah, I don't like that. There now. There's going to be people who say they liked it better before I stuck this over it, but you know what? Could I just put that there? Oh, I stamped that upside down. Have I made this whole thing upside down? I think I have. This went back. Does it matter? Not a jot. It just needs something, this. I'm not happy with this and I don't know why. I'm going to stick that there. Yeah, I'm happy with it now. <laughs> oh, dear. That was just not the card. I've done it upside down, but it doesn't matter. Because you can't tell. Just on back stamping. Some of it's upside down, some of it's not. Mm, yeah, world won't end. Right, do this one. This one's going to be super quick and super easy because everything on it is going to behave, isn't it? Of course it is. Right, upside down, do it, woman. Upside down. And yeah, I've not been having a problem with these, honestly. It was just that one day, so they're making a liar out of me. It's always like that when you film something. Always. So that's a bit of thing gone. Yeah, I think I'm going to have you over that side and then we'll put something over there. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, don't wink, wrinkle it. Winkle it. Winkling. Ooh, winkling. Yeah, winkling, the art of collecting winkles off the beach. I don't like winkles, they're horrible. <laughs> we don't like winkles, do we, Deirdre? No. We don't. Ugh, winkles. I don't like... I'm saying I don't like seafood, I do. I just don't tend to like icky-looking seafood. Do you get me? Some seafood looks icky, some don't. 
give me give me a piece of cod any day give me a winkle and i'll run a mile not liking winkles or cockles or mussels i don't think i'd be a big clam person either oh i like that one there yeah so oh do i like that one better woman make your mind up i've gone all indecisive now that's really throwing me off my game that sticker we oh, i like that one better it's a woman's prerogative to change your mind and I exercise my prerogative often. Wee. Prerogative. That's my prerogative. I'm just, everything, yeah, I've watched far too much telly and too much YouTube. So everything's a song. Everything's a TV programme. It's not that I've watched all them this weekend, but I just get in that mode. There we go. I like that. I don't even know if that needs out else. Yeah, it needs something here, something round. I've been dying, absolutely dying to use that round number, Anta. Yep, it's happening. Number 53 is going there. So, wow. We've still got two more left to decorate. Two more left to decorate. So that's one of them. That one was just pain in my noggin. Two three and that's the one i did earlier so we've got four of them and we're gonna decorate these two super quick super quick lordy right that big daisy is just look it's grinning at me it's going <laughs> oh i like that one we haven't used that have we no what about one of these more delicate ones because we've not done a lot of dark stamping oh i do like that I do, but I also like the bolder looking ones. That's I must like that one. I've picked it twice now. What else we got? Well, we've used that one. Have I used? I decided that one were too pale, didn't I? Yeah, that's far too pale. That needs to be the. Hmm. Ooh, what's this one? We use that one. Yeah, we have. I really like that one. <laughs> I picked it twice now. I really like that one. Oh, I like that one. We haven't used that one. And that one's got like a bit of tape over it. But it doesn't go on that one. But it does go on that one. Yeah. Happy bunny time. And that one does go on that one. Yay, stick these on before you change your mind and then you can do other stuff. Yeah, get your knife. And upside down. Yeah, straight away. That's going to bug me all night, that gerbera daisy. Stupid thing. Over the shoulder. Ooh, itchy. That one can go. Um, now I'm going to do it lower. So I'm going to put something on there and then I'll put something down here. That's that. Well, take the rest of it backing off and then that's that. Whee. Yeah, I've had my thinking cap on as well, thinking up some more laminated projects. Whee. That's you done. And you are the last one. Don't be awkward, please. Your last one. Be warned. I always say things are better in threes and fives. You are the sixth project. You don't need to exist. There we go. Yeah, you were beginning to be awkward there, but you did it. I do find speaking to you projects helps. They don't want to feel left out. They don't want to feel neglected. I don't know if to put that over that green stamp or over there. Do you know what? I want it over that stamp. There we go. Because it still stands out enough, that sticker. Right. Oh, I do like that. That's pretty. It's already got that light bit of taste. It's the only one with a bit of colour. And <laughs> I'm so tempted to cover it up. Because it's got pink on it. But no, it'll go in a different project on its own. Oh, look at that. 
That's far too big. You can't put that on, woman. Let's have a look what else you've got. I've got so many of these separate little things now. I like you. You're good. So you may go there. Filed, that says. No, you won't see it. It's too thick. What's that one? I like that one. What else we got? Ooh, February. February. That just like, looks like February. <laughs> I think I'm going to swap them over. We don't want no February around here. What month? What is it called? January, February. Pie month. January, February, pie month. Yeah, I like that. Stick it on. I always say stick it on if you change your mind because I often change my mind. I try not to stick it upside down either. You've already done one upside down thing today. You don't need to do another. I'm going to put it right up to edge so we can see some at writing. There we go. February. Not February. <laughs> don't even... Pie month's not in February. We've got pie month in January, March, but we don't have one in February. Because it's not spelt right. Pies refuse to acknowledge the existence of that month. Hi, baby. Child number two has arrived home from school. Child number two wants to go to shops with me, so I need to crack on and get this video finished. Or she'll get bored and not want to go. I don't know, just little Jay really wants to be somewhere, doesn't it? Just doing a video, Bob. Okay. <laughs> I don't normally answer him at all, so now she's like saying, Mama, Mama. That started off as a bit of a joke, calling me Mama, and now that's what they call me. Where was that going to go? Was that going to go there? Yeah, but then I stuck that J on. We can have two round circles together. That is a rule that I have self-imposed upon myself during this video. Two circles can't go together. Well, do you know what? They can, because I did it. They are touching, though. It's like a planet and a moon. That's good. That needs something on. The birdie? No. I don't like the black edge on the birdie. I may end up cutting that down. In fact, I could do it now. Too much black on the edge of that birdie. Because I keep wanting to use the birdie and then not using him because of his edge. But you know, I don't like him anyway. Sorry, bird. I feel really mean now. Ooh, I like that filed word there. That's going to go there. That was one of the little punches from my... Uh, yeah, I used a punch and then lots of people saying, where did you get that punch? And I didn't realise it were discontinued. It were an EK Success one that punches these labels out. Stamping up, do I have one that punches a similar size label out? Uh, yeah, sorry. Right, I need something else. We need something here. A tall ticket or something. Oh, I did grab these and I've not used any. Again, these were some tickets I made in a different video. No, that do not go. I think that's probably why I've not used any. They've got colours on. I want a really pale, boring green ticket. Let's have a look into Timmy ones. I would determine to try and use just my own, but looks like Timmy's going to get in on act on this one. And I think... That might be all it needs. Is that even a label or is that just something that I've cut off somewhere? I think it's a label. Could be. Oh, how, look how teeny tiny they are. That's like it's a speck. That's not a label, it's a speck of dust. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just going to pop that one up there. And call this one Dern. Yeah, because it's already got all that uh, stuff on the paper itself, this one doesn't need a lot. 
I feel a bit rusty as well, having not crafted for nearly a week. There we go. Yeah, I think if I stuck too much on that, it would just that would just disappear into the background. It's trying to now already. Right, so what did we do in yeah, oh, less than an hour? Oh, yeah, not too bad then. I got five bits of ephemera done in less than an hour. You could say ten minutes each, but I did a lot of waffling and faffing. So, do you know I like that one now? The one that gave me the most hassle, I quite like it. So, yeah, I like you. I like you. <laughs> I like you. You're all right, but you're not my favourite. Sorry. I made you hurt. There's one I made earlier I quite like, and I like you. So, there we go. Let's call, we'll call that a mass make because I did six. Like I said, cut the waffle. You'll make twice as many as me in half the time. So, I hope you did enjoy that. I'm going to try and get another one out in a couple of days this week because I've got a few goodies that I need to show you. I've got goodies piling up. Yeah, how lucky am I? So, thank you very much for watching. Go and check out Corey. And if you there is the Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals, is it called? Facebook group. I am a member, but I'm just very inactive on all Facebook groups. I just can't know. Too much, too much information going into my brain at one time. There's not room for it. <laughs> so... Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.